Tonight we have a THV 11 update of a story we first brought you earlier this week. Starting next week, a new state law will expand mental health care for public safety employees, but some first responders feel left out, and THV 11 Sarah Abakowicz joins us now to explain why. Under the new law, public employers like a city will have to cover mental health counseling for first responders if they go through a traumatic event on duty. Just this week, a firefighter told me the law could save lives, but some paramedics had a different reaction, finding out they weren't included. Scott Gann has spent nearly 30 years working as a first responder, as a firefighter, in law enforcement, and most recently, a paramedic. I actually retired out of EMS because of my mental health. There's a reason that we have such a shortage on people, services, and resources. So when a new law passed expanding mental health resources for public safety employees, he was excited until he read the fine print that it didn't include paramedics. If you're forgotten about, how are we ever going to be taken care of? Except I don't know anyone who's ever said if they called 911, they wouldn't expect an ambulance to come. Act 537 goes into effect next week, helping thousands. The law requires public employers to cover mental health counseling for first responders after a traumatic event on duty. Representative Carlton Wing sponsored the bipartisan bill. Paramedics, most of them by far work for private industry, whereas our police and fire work for the government. So what we can do within government is be able to help take care of these first responders in that way. In Arkansas, over 60% of EMS services are privately owned. However, Wing hopes this bill can help set a framework for the remaining public medical responders down the line. This is not just the right thing to do emotionally. This is the right thing to do financially. When we lose one of them prematurely, either by leaving the field or otherwise, it's a loss for the entire community. And John Wilkerson with the Arkansas Municipal League has been working with lawmakers and cities to make sure mental health resources stick around beyond the initial one year trial. The bill itself for the next year will work with it and then in 25 we'll have something even better and in 26 and 27 we'll have something long lasting for the mental health of our first responders. As some paramedics hope for further advocacy for their own health care. I'm not taking anything away from firefighters. I'm not taking anything away from law enforcement officers or correctional officers, any of them. We all need it. All I'm asking for is to be included as well. The Arkansas Ambulance Association verified they coordinate mental health options for member EMS systems, but GAN says additional resources like the ones Act 537 create are still needed in the medical field.